female leader for this month is an actress, model, chef, and co-founder of the Black Vegan Company, which revolutionizes vegan eating by infusing flavor, culture, and soul into every meal. I did not copy and paste that. Uh, she also happens to be the phenomenal lead in my short film, An Uncomfortable Woman. Please welcome the amazing Robin Beltran! <laughs> because we were just like hanging out for several right. hours you and now we, I have to pretend like thank you for coming on my show and yeah. not <laughs> um, so let's start with your company what inspired you to start the black vegan company so um, a few years ago um, someone decided to try and murder my husband um, at gunpoint luckily enough not the typical start of a company <laughs> not, story but luckily but. I said luckily enough yes um he's alive he's in the room somewhere in here I can't see anything so he's in here somewhere so he's alive nobody worry um but he um was shot in the large intestine small intestine in the colon um and was forced to embark on a plant-based diet because he couldn't process meat anymore and so me being the southern black girl that i am i was like uh, what do we do uh, what does this mean um and so we just started from there and so um you know he is is mexican and one of the big things for him was like you know i still want a lot of the traditional meals that i eat with a lot of flavor and spice and excitement and Again, I'm a Southern black girl from Houston, Texas. So, you know. <laughs> um, so it was, you know, for us, it's like, how do we still keep our lifestyle and maintain that, mm -hmm. but trying something different? Like, mm -hmm. how do you make plants taste like steak? Mm -hmm. So yeah. that's Which why I started like demonstrating. Crazy. So from there, um, one of our best friends and business partners is also in stance too. Mm -hmm. um, he um, embarked on the journey with us after seeing the dramatic changes. Um, the doctors told my husband that he would never be the same again. And we, we cured him um, with yoga and eating vegetables. So the shit does work. Um, <laughs> um, and then from there, it affected a lot of our family and friends. And one of my good friends and business partners had dramatic results with it. And you know, we decided that in the brown and black communities, whenever we have issues, because we all battled from, you know, depression, anxiety, PTSD, mm -hmm. from all of the things that happened. Mm -hmm. um, and for us, it was like, you know, me growing up, you know, I didn't have access to therapists and, and all of mm -hmm. that. And so I battled all of these issues growing up and, you know, tried a number of things to deal with them, mm -hmm. but it never really solved the problem. Mm -hmm. But whenever we embarked on this diet, my whole life changed mm -hmm. and everything was gone. Anxiety, depression, I got hair. My skin got better. I'm here on stage now. I yeah. work in film. So, you know, life has changed dramatically. And again, my husband's the epitome of health and yeah. rocking it out. So that's, that's how crazy. it started. Yeah. I need you to infiltrate my family. Uh, I am like, my grandfather was a butcher, my dad is a butcher. And also, we suppress our feelings. So I need you to infiltrate my family and be like, it's the You're, animal's yeah. feelings that yeah. are in there. It's not yeah. yours. I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, so, well, you, you talked about the benefits of adapting a vegan lifestyle. You covered it. You, I feel like you, like, as a vegan, you can, like, see my card and answer my I questions. can. That's also you something. You can see the future. I believe it. Uh, I eat meat and I don't remember anything. Exactly. Think Point <laughs> Um So tell me, also, you've worked in broadcast journalism. And, yes. And how your career has evolved since then. Gosh. Well, I started out in Jonesboro, Arkansas as an intern, slaving away. Started out in sports and then somehow ended up on like the murder beat at like 3 a.m., which is not exciting, <laughs> getting paid $8 an hour. Um, but we started in broadcast journalism um, there and then got a chance to um, intern at um, ESPN uh, for a little bit, which is super <laughs> exciting with Mike Jones. Um, and it kind of went from there. And, you know, I started out and then I was like, okay, this is too much. And then, you know, retracted back. And then I started thinking about maybe I should get in like marketing or sales or like anything dealing with people. Mm -hmm. And so I did. And then um, once I got out of it, I realized that was my home and that's where I was supposed to be after eight years. And so at 30, I woke up after going vegan and, you know, having this experience with my husband and I was like, I'm getting back in television. He's like, mm -hmm. all right, good luck. Um, and, but he was like, you know what, if you really want to do it, do it. And so I got back into television and then, um, got signed to a contract with mm -hmm. an agent modeling, um, at 32 with stretch marks after two to kids. So I get excited about that. Um, with all the 16 year olds, I'm like, still got it. I got it. I, I just have, stre I have stretch marks from adopting a dog. Right. You know, <laughs> <laughs> 
to have the kids. <laughs> right. Life experience. Um, so yeah, that ended up happening. And then um, I started acting. And then they started sending me to Austin. And then I met you. Yes, and so now I work God. in film. So. Thank you. Um, what are the biggest challenges you, you've faced, especially balancing so many talents as you talked about, mm -hmm. acting, modeling, cooking, being a vegan lifestyle coach? Mm -hmm. What are the challenges to like, you know, balancing it all um, and not going crazy? <laughs> I go crazy all the time. Mm -hmm. Ask my husband. <laughs> um, but I think one of the biggest things is, you know, people always try and put you in this box of saying you're only supposed to do one thing. Mm -hmm. Because for me, everyone was like, oh, no, you're really good at marketing. You should do that. Mm -hmm. Or, oh, no, you're really good at this. You should do that. And I'm like, no, I'm good at a lot of things. Mm -hmm. And, yeah, I can be a mom. And, yeah, I can be a wife. And, yeah, I can be a model and yeah, I can hang out with the 16 year olds and I can do these things. And I think, you know, society decides that they want to restrict us when mm -hmm. we as humans are, are very multifaceted mm -hmm. and complicated humans. So we should relish in that and thrive in that. Mm -hmm. And whatever it is that you're good at, you mm -hmm. know, go with it, you know, if, if it is 10 things. Mm -hmm. um, but for me, I think one of the biggest things is just maintaining a really dope group of friends mm -hmm. that kind of just keep me balanced and, mm -hmm. you know, kind of keep me refreshed and, mm -hmm. you know, give me the damn pep talks when I'm like, why am I modeling with 16 year olds, you know, yeah. <laughs> or why did I decide, you know, to go with this whole vegan lifestyle and, mm -hmm. you know, try and change people's lives when people just want to eat meat, damn it, <laughs> you know. Um, so mm -hmm. I decided to take on the hard challenges, but it's something that I love to do and I know that it's my job while I'm on this course and in this path through life mm -hmm. so I just do it you know whatever feels good at the mm -hmm. moment you know I just I do that so mm -hmm. you know stay balanced eat a lot of plants do some yoga mm -hmm. yeah. partake a little bit that's okay. gonna be on a tank top uh, sold at a town like that just that quote <laughs> that I need to adapt a vegan lifestyle Please. Um, so do you have a favorite uh, experience whether you know in any of your roles and jobs you've had over the years like oh, something that stuck with you or maybe favorite piece of advice you've gotten um say that question again uh, I, I, I asked like 12 questions That's all right. sorry uh, <laughs> I was being multifaceted. Um, <laughs> favorite experience. You suck at it. Pick one thing. Do you have a favorite memory of like any of your career paths you've taken? Something that maybe has stuck with you? Um, favorite on set or just like a favorite client? Gosh, um, I have a lot of favorites. I think that's why I do so many mm -hmm. things is that I get excited genuinely about all of them. Mm -hmm. um, and film, I, I guess just relevant to now, I think being a part of the film, The Uncomfortable Woman, is is really important because I'm always uncomfortable. <laughs> yeah. I have kids, so there's no <laughs> comfort in life. Um, and it's 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 exciting because for the first time reading a role, I told you this earlier when we were having drinks, um, the character was literally for me. Like, she wrote this for me, a 33-year-old black woman who's very uncomfortable and traumatized about life's experiences, and where does she go from there? So for that, for me, was super exciting, you mm -hmm. know, sitting and auditioning with you and being like, no, it's just cool to be here mm -hmm. and to have representation, mm -hmm. you know, um, and being allowed freely to be myself, mm -hmm. you know? So that's really exciting right now um, that's happening in film. With cooking, it's every day. I get random people. I wear my shirts that say the Black Vegan Company all the time, and I walk in H-E-B, and people are like, hey, are you vegan? I'm like, yes. <laughs> Like, I am. And they're like, no, I need I your like card. Yeah. Right. I'm like, okay, calm yeah. down. They're like, what are you, what are you, what are you going to do with that cheese? I'm like, no. I'm going to make this. Are, are you vegan? I'm like, yeah. Um, so those are always fun. Mm -hmm. um, you know, going to the store is always an entertaining thing for me. Mm -hmm. I spend way too much time in there. So yeah, it's probably the highlight of my life. <laughs> <laughs> Hence to being mother. Yeah. <laughs> I feel, yeah. Who is a strong female leader in your life? God, I have so many. I can like go down a whole list of women. Do you want me to give you the CVS or CVS? You can, just Shout name all down. of them. Yeah. You know, <laughs> Shout out to the 18 black women um, in Houston that went and oh, yeah, decided to become like yeah. all lawyers and judges in yeah, Houston that's like cute. at once. That's like cute. that's super exciting for me. Um, I, you know, I mean, 
pick a place and I can find a woman that inspires me at some point and at mm-hmm. some moment. Uh, my mom, of course, is super mm-hmm. cliche because she supports me in every aspect mm-hmm. in every way. I would not be here if it was not for her. Mm-hmm. Um, literally. Uh, literally. Yeah. Um, she's watching the kids. Um, they'd be sitting right here. Um, but it, it's it's also, it's, it's my girlfriends. Um, you know, I have girlfriends that do everything that are jewelry designers and fashion designers and, um, you know, they they are lawyers and just they do all sorts of random stuff and every time I call them I'm like okay I need to get up and do something I need to like be great like you you know so I think it's it's all of the women that surround me I don't surround myself with shitty people so it's really easy to go to really amazing people so I always have inspiration Mm -hmm. including you Man, you gotta hang out with my family. You'll change that sentence. Uh, just kidding, I love them. They just haven't donated yet. Uh, so what do you hope for, to see for the future of the Black Vegan Company or your acting career? Yeah. Or or, 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 or both. Or everything. I Actually, what's been really cool, I've been talking to my business partners about this. And again, it goes back to being very multifaceted. Everyone tells you to do one thing or separate things. What's happening now in my career is that everything literally is blending and merging together. Mm-hmm. Me being here right now is a direct reflection of that because, you know, I'm here as an actress, but also we've been able to incorporate my company, mm-hmm. you know, um, throughout the film and mm-hmm. doing some really fun projects or, mm-hmm. you know, that are being involved to help with the Indiegogo project. Make sure you guys, anything, mm-hmm. if you didn't put a tip in the jar, cash app, go on Instagram, do it. Mm-hmm. Um, but I think, you know, that right there is, is mm-hmm. huge. Yeah. It's it, it's a it, it's a big deal. Um, and as far as as acting goes, you know, um, again, it's being able to I have always said I wanted to be the next Oprah and Oprah does everything. Right. Mm-hmm. She's got cookbooks. She's got TV shows. She like she does a little bit of everything. Mm-hmm. And so for me, it's like, all right, where do I go from there? How do I inspire the world with all of the things that mm-hmm. I do? So it's, it's been really cool for me to see how everything's really starting to formulate together mm-hmm. and that I don't have to pick one thing like I am the one thing Mm -hmm. so I just be me you know that was amazing. So. Thank you so much, Ellen, for coming. Thank you. I have a tradition. I, I get the strong female leader with something from Dollar Tree, not a sponsor. Um, so I've got some prizes in here. I always get these like weird um, wine glasses that have like problematic phrases on it. So uh-huh. this one says, hey, Friday, same time, same place, dash wine. So the wine is talking to the person drinking. You need motivation. Alarm. That's the person that keeps I'm you motivated. And then I ha- yeah, there's some things in here. I know you have a daughter, so I put like the one representation of an Arab uh, that I've ever been able to relate to in uh, TV and film. Uh, as long as she's brown, <laughs> that's exciting. Yeah, Woo! I mean, Aladdin. I actually look more like Aladdin when that came out. Um, but thank you so much for coming on the show. Thank you. You can follow Robin on Instagram at Mrs. Robin Buckton and her company at The Black Vegan Company. And now for another round of improv commercials from my secret friend. Woo!